Okay, today is our practice day, and we're going to practice with Play-Doh today for our real clay we're going to get next week. So, you can take your Play-Doh out of your container by using your finger, and everybody will have... Don't worry about the color, it's just a practice day. So, here is my Play-Doh. You'll have about this size amount, maybe a little bit less next week with real clay. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice the steps to making the pendant and also become familiar with our clay tools. So, to make your pendant, the pendant is a necklace, if you remember from the video. We would roll a sphere, and then we're going to use something called a rolling pin to flatten it. Okay. And you want to try to get to be the same thickness throughout the whole thing. And it's going to be about as thick as your pinky. Okay? Close to that. Too thin, it breaks. And too thick, sometimes it cracks. So that's the thickness we want. We don't want it super skinny, but we also don't want it really, really chunky. All right? After that, now's the fun time. This week you get to plan what shape you want. I'm going to show you how to make some three or four different shapes that you can make your necklace. So the first is easy. Every container has an empty Play-Doh container. It's an old one that you can use to stamp a perfect circle. All right. That is the first shape that you could easily make your pendant into. Another shape you could try today is by using like a wire tool or even your, you should have a plastic knife in your bin. You can cut a heart. So if you make that circle first, you can do two things to make it into a heart. You're going to cut like a little V towards the top and then smush it. And then on the bottom, you're going to cut A line and another line. Okay, fix up the corners and that makes a heart. Now, remember, I can play this video again. I'm just showing you all of these different examples that you could make, and today is your practice day, so you'll get to practice them all. Another simple shape that you could make with your clay besides a circle and a heart is. Flat. Check the thickness. Good. And then you could make something called this shape by using just a knife. You could make your pendant necklace a rectangle or a square. All right. One. And if you also like, you could make it a triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice making different shapes today. The last thing I want you to practice after you practice a bunch of different shapes, flat shapes with a thickness, I want you to practice trying to put a hole through your pendant. Now to make a hole, you don't want to get too close to the top because then your clay could rip. Not too close to the sides. As you see, I have about the same pencil width above and below my hole. So that way it does not rip. It goes all the way through so that I can put my string through there. Another thing I want you to practice is putting your initials or your name on the back with your clay pencil. Clay pencils are different because they are used just for clay and for writing in there. So I'm going to put, try to write my name in clay this week too. So the four things I want you to practice today. One, rolling your clay flat to the thickness of your pinky. Two, I want you to try to cut your clay into a shape or design. Then three, I want you to practice putting a hole in your clay. And last but not 
please, we are going to try to write your name on the back. If you can do all of those steps, you are ready to make your clay pendant next week. The only thing we're going to add next week is we're going to practice some texture. So once you have all of these steps done, the extra activity would be to practice some texture. And that means that you're going to make your clay feel a certain way by adding pieces onto your pendant. Next, that it could feel bumpy or smooth to make it look even more interesting. 